Yo, what's a guan bomba clap, brethren? Yo, check this out. Zero percent alcohol beer. Never thought it'd be that guy. Anyways, I'll tell you about it at the end because let's get right to the topic. Interacting with weebs in real life is way different than internet weebs. Like, I, I never, I forgot what it's like. And I'm reminded of why 10% of y'all in the comment section just don't, you're not real people. You don't represent real interactions. I have to be mindful of that. So here we go. You're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. So I walked in there with a push past your limit shirt. Look at this. Look at the silhouette. The guy goes, is that an Ichigo shirt? And I was just like, nah, man, this is uh, Captain Yami, Black Clover. He's like, oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. And he's like, yeah, um, I got to finish Black Clover. I keep getting distracted. I'm like, yo, what's good, man? Press on, man. It's nothing but smoke, nothing but heat. Just cut, skip a couple of the fillers. Some of the fillers are actually not too bad, at least the ending. And uh, the mixed can episode, I think those are slow. That's my honest opinion. The mixed can ones are like, uh, a little slow. Anyways, he was like, yeah, man, I got up to the, uh, the episode where, you know, the girl was in the cave and she summoned a giant goat. I was like, oh, a sheep. It's probably a sheep. And you're probably talking about Charming. Got it, got it, Charming. He's like, yeah, 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 that's the one, that's the one. I'm like, cool, cool, cool. Since he mentioned Ichigo, I was like, yo, man, you got to get on this bleach, though. Because Blood War is fire, man. I've only bought manga sets for two animes. I've read manga for Naruto, but I never bought a manga for Naruto. There's levels to it. <laughs> Sorry, Naruto fans. But at least I read it. I read it. Anyways, um, I bought manga for One Piece, and now I bought the full set. At least I think it's a full set of Bleach. I'm like, yo, this is heat. It's worthy of, uh, of, 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 of obtaining. And um, he was like, yeah, man. I, I, I only got as far as when, you know, Ichigo used his Bankai on that one guy for the first time. I was like, what? And he's like, yeah, Rukia's brother. Oh, Biaka. I probably butchered the name, but he didn't even know the name. He just said Rukia's brother. I was like, oh, Biaka. Got it. I should have known because he said Bankai the first time. Whatever. See, this is another example of People in real life that watch anime, but you have things going on or whatever. He doesn't remember everything. He, he obviously watches it for his enjoyment. Uh, he's a big Naruto fan because we normally talk about Naruto. This dude loves Naruto. <laughs> so when it comes to anything other than Naruto, it's a, a grain of salt, basically. Anyways, uh, no problem with me. And then uh, how do we end that conversation? How do we end that conversation? So, yeah, I definitely said to, to watch it. Uh, oh, okay. Then he was like, oh, yeah, man. Even like, you know, he's kind of weird conversation because he was like, he said the last thing he saw was, uh, you know, Ichigo using Bankai in Rukia's fight. And then he trans, he, he, he mentioned, um, when they went to the place where the hollows were. And I was like, oh, Weka Mundo? He was like, yeah. The point is, he doesn't know what things are called. I mispronounce. He doesn't know what things are called. I probably would also be in the same category if I was just watching the anime regular, regularly. He, like a regular person, like a normie. Uh, basically, he's a normie. I'm actually a normie, if I'm being honest with you. Me and this guy are both normies. The difference is he is at Publix and I do reactions. So it, re it at least reinforces, right, what I know. So I'll know more than he knows, right? But respect him. He watches anime, he found someone else that had a similar shirt, and he was he was happy to strike a conversation. No disrespect. I didn't disrespect him because um, you know, he didn't know how to pronounce things or even know who the names were. And um he, I because there's two guys in the store. I thought he was the one piece guy. You know, all these all these weaves in real life look alike. I thought he was the one piece guy, so that's what I thought I was talking about. But he's a Naruto guy. So he wasn't excited about me only buying one piece and uh, uh bleach he wasn't excited about that but there was no negativity i'm gonna see him again in the next week when i get my groceries if i remember which one is which because <laughs> i don't know i just couldn't get i get him confused but i was like yo a nice conversation about anime where we didn't attack each other for name pronunciation and that's how it's always been for me my entire life when i come across people in real life and you mispronounce or you don't remember someone's name or whatever no one in real life has ever got upset about those things what they do is they get excited 
because now they see an opportunity to probably teach you a little something, help you a little something, or just seeing somebody uh, that also knows anime because in real life, at least where I live, it's kind of, it's harder to run into people, especially my area. It's an affluent area and it's just harder. You know, a lot of corporate people, office people, it's just different, you know, demographics. So, but online, <laughs> You know-it-alls get to find each other and then make fun of the non-know-it-alls. So then you get the superiority complex. And I imagine it can only exist for many of you online. And when I say many of you, I'm really talking about a minority. It's about 10%. It's about 10%. Because uh, the vast majority of the comments are just regular people that just enjoy life or enjoy the content. It's just these 10% is loud. It's called a loud minority. So the vast majority of you are good. But it was a learning opportunity. And, and, I'm, and I'm also hoping that that 10% watches it and they're like, yeah, I'm talking about you. Relax. It's not a big deal that someone doesn't know a name, you know? As long as you get to share this hobby together and you're contributing to the hobby's success because you consume that media or you buy that manga or you promote it. So on my end, obviously I do bleach reactions. Then I bought the bleach... Um, a manga, adding money to the creator. Uh, manga sets, I bought three. That's like $600 worth of bleach that I purchased. And then um, I was watching Crunchyroll and now I'm watching on Hulu, contributing to the success of bleach, which is worthy of it. So anyways, man, that's my video about people that touch grass. And then ending it, I was talking to you guys about this whole 0% thing. Cause man, I was consuming alcohol like there was no tomorrow, guys. I think I was drunk. You know how you take holidays, right? Like you know, pay time off. So uh, I think I was drunk every day except for maybe for the last year and a half. I think I was tipsy or drunk every day except for like, I don't know, 20 days total. That was my pay time off. There was something that needed to be done. I was just, I just wasn't drunk for it. Like I know when I went to Dream, oh, no, nope, I was drunk at Dream Brown. I was drunk every day at DreamCon. So, yeah. But I got that under control, man. I got that under control. And uh, I kind of feel better. Sometimes things is like this raw. And this is like, I'm just not, I'm not happy. But I'm also not sad. So I'm just there. I actually mentioned in a Bleach reaction. Uh, it's going to be Blood War Episode 9 in the beginning. And uh, I was... I had said something. The director was like, you're all right, man. You sound depressed or something like that. I was like, nah, I'm just... This is just me normal. <laughs> you guys got so accustomed to me being intoxicated or in something that I just get excited for no reason. I'm jumpy. Rah! Now I need exact... Like, something has to legitimately get me excited. Like, beyond my normal standards for me to get that excitement that you guys probably are used to if you're following me on the reaction channel. Because if I'm just, like, sober, sober, like, right now... Yeah, I'm just chilling. You know, I'm just chilling. Uh, I get a little bit more irritable now. That's probably why I was I had some type of drinking habit. I'm Jamaican, by the way. Jamaicans get irritable. It's in my blood. It's in my DNA. <laughs> like, I think people think we're. I think people reflect think of us like as a calm group, which we can. Yo, Jamaicans can be very relaxed, man. Because there's two there's two mentalities. Like, I'm not here for this foolishness. This idiot boy. So we just kind of tune out. You know, so we don't get vexed. But if we're into something, we're paying attention to something, we're quick to vex. Because you look upon this idiot over here, sir, and you can't help but get vexed. What in the bomb clot? Yo, what this boy here do? Look upon this man as his son is fighting him out of son, and him not do a thing to save either boy. Everybody I get mashed up all around him. He, the top hero, and him not do a thing. Why? If you not get a belt and whoop that pick me, me not know what to do. Mash up that boy, thump him in his head, let him know, hey, me your father, me talk, you are dead, you are back. Me not want no bumble clap foolishness. You are embarrass me in front of the whole world. See, that's how I would think. I went on a whole rant, but that's how I feel. What the bumble clap is this? Anyways. I think that is it. So, 
if you guys <laughs> uh, appreciate these daily updates, let me know, man. If there's a topic that you just want to hear my thoughts on. You see something on a TikTok, you see something on Instagram, you see something on Twitter or whatever. You're like, yo, Lee, this is dope. I want to hear your, your take on it. Hit me up, man. Uh, I like to do that kind of stuff. Anyways, until later, Rock D. Lee, I made it to 10 minutes. That's why I was I was hesitating on that last one. I was like, yo, if I can get to 10 minutes, let me uh, do some showmanship. So I did one of these uh, about 15 minutes. Later. <laughs>